Hey guys, it's Sammy from Fandiverse Comics, back with more comic book news. So before I dive into all the comics, I do want to talk about a purchase I bought this week that I really love. So if you know me personally, you know I love Eevees and all the Eeveelutions. My cat's name's Eevee, even. So I grabbed all three of these that came in at the shop. I got Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. And now I have all four because I did get the Eevee for my birthday. But anyways, now back to the comics. So I want to talk about one that was a huge debate this morning and the biggest comic this week and then I'll dive into a number one we got and also the tribute that came in. But anyways, stay tuned. Hey guys, so before I dive into the big ones, I do want to talk about some of the other ones. My favorite this week is definitely going to be Department of Truth number two. This is the A cover. I love Department of Truth. The first one had me going, but the second one kept me, kept fueling my fire. So we got to see more of the main character, got to see more of a specific character that was just more like she was a mystery. But the conspiracy theories are definitely fun. The art style is amazing. I'm hooked. I want number three, but I have to wait till next month. And for all my X of Swords and X-Men lovers, we do have X of Swords Stasis number one. This is chapter 11 of all of X of Swords. And this is a team up cover. First appearance, I guess you can say. And then next, the number one we have this week, and that is gonna be, well, I say Giga, some other people are saying Giga, whatever. <laughs> and this is number one. So this is gonna be a good one. Um, it so far caught my attention. It's a new book. It's basically about these giant robots that had a war and then as during the war some of them died and like basically they're huge. So if they're on the ground you're not moving them. And these people have lived in the bodies of them instead of like moving somewhere else. They just moved into the bodies, made apartments, things like that. And they're viewed as gods. But there was one that was murdered and starts this whole mystery thing of this guy trying to figure it out. It's pretty fun. And there's a couple beautiful covers. There's a foil variant that I like a lot. And then we do have Shang-Chi number two. So on this cover you do see Shang-Chi but you also see Sister Hammer on here. But there's also another cover, an Alex Ross Timeless variant. I'll share that one as well. And this is Spawn 311 with the B cover. This right here is a tribute to Chadwick Boseman. There's also a beautiful black and white sketch variant as well with him on it. The A and C are beautiful as well, but the B is by far my favorite. And before I talk about the other two, let's talk about the big comic this week. I no longer have the comic. I read it yesterday, but I gave it back because we sold out of this issue. And that's going to be The Last Ronin, number one. And that's going to be a five-issue miniseries. But the reason why it was such, well, the reason why it sold out is because it was heavily allocated and only stores only got a certain amount. So we basically made people get only one. You were only allowed to purchase one copy because just to be fair. But kid you not, the phone was ringing nonstop. Everybody was asking, do you have the last Ronin? Do you have the last Ronin? But the reason why there was such a debate this morning was because people were were fighting over who the last Ronin was. So when you flip through the book and you read it, you think, if you read it really fast, you're like, oh, I know exactly who the last Ronin is. But if you look at the punctuation, it leaves it questionable. I mean, I have my theories and everybody else does. We have bets going on. But so if you go online and you look it up, you see who you think, like who they think it is. But then the punctuation makes it very questionable. And I feel like it'd be a smarter move for them if they don't tell us who the last Ronin is yet. Just so it makes it issue two, you still have a big sale. But anyways, that is the big one. If the only way to probably buy it right now is if you go online, and it's probably gonna be a lot more just because everywhere it is sold out. And I'm actually gonna share that cover right here. I'm sad I don't have it anymore, but needed to give it to some other people. And the next one I wanna talk about is Immortal Hulk number 39. This is an Alex Ross cover. It's basically like a look into Bruce Banner's mind. You see an internal battle between two Hulks. Let me hold it up a little longer so I can show it off. And we also have the Amazing Spider-Man number, what is this, number 51? So this is after 50 
point LR, which is the last remains. This continues that, and then after this one will be 51 point LR. And I grabbed this cover because now I'm starting to gravitate towards the colorful covers. Before, everything I liked was dark, creepy, basically that was my, my taste. And now I'm starting to gravitate towards the colorful ones. Showing that one off because I like it a lot. But that's all the comics I do want to talk about this week, but stay tuned because I have more news for you coming soon. And please do that social media thing where you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.